Alright guys, well this is a battery pack from an e-golf, it's a 2020 e-golf um, so a fully electric golf, it's not hybrid and uh, you can probably see looking at the edge and so on, I've already had the top off this and made it more or less safe, I've got some of the bus bars out of it uh, to break the voltages down to uh, a more manageable level um, this video is basically a warning to anybody who's ever thinking about opening one of these packs to be very very careful when you're doing it uh, this pack where before it's opened is sitting at 300 and something volts in my case 325 because each of the cells um, each of the individual cells is down to about 3.7 volts um, so 325, 326, that's sort of an average uh, voltage. So that's enough to bite, and that will bite you very hard if, if you um, get if you touch that. Right, well I've put you onto a stand while I lift up the uh, the top of this this battery pack. To do that, it's just simple. Well, once you've cut it right right round the outside. Just not a problem. This pack, when you open it, will be at over 300 volts. Um, there is the positive, the most positive, and that is the most negative. Those those two points, right, most negative, most positive, um, and they go back. The positive goes to one end of the pack, and the negative goes to the other end, because this is just basically one big series loop of uh, packs of batteries all linked together all right anyway hopefully that's have helped you if you're ever having to open one of these packs just be very careful another thing to be wary of with this pack is uh, inside this module is a very large capacitor and that capacitor normally sits at 300 and whatever voltage, well, whatever voltage the pack is at. And there is a warning sign on the side, which basically tells you, first of all, you need to be checking the voltage between the two outside uh, terminals. And if that voltage is high, to get it down, you need to stick a resistor across it. Uh, doesn't say what size the resistor needs to be, but probably 20 ohms or something like that would be fine. But it needs to be a high wattage resistor. Stick it across those two terminals, and that will pull the uh, um, or bring the resistance, uh, the voltage down. It's inside this capacitor. So basically, what I'm saying is, even though I have several of the uh, links removed from here, so the voltage of the pack is now setting at maximum 100 volts or thereabouts. In here is still over 300 volts, so be careful. Right guys, well I'm sure as you can imagine it's not easy to trace the, the path that the angry pixies take to get from the most positive to the most negative. Um, but I've traced it out and I've drawn a little diagram and I'm going to try and take you through it now. Um, this isn't too important as far as voltage is concerned and getting the voltage to the, uh, the car but as far as BMS is concerned this information is probably critical. So uh, I'm going to trace out the path and starting from module number one. That's the very first module. It is the most positive module, this one here. Uh, goes from module number one to module number two. Come around. So the uh, negative of that of that cell goes to the positive of that cell. Negative of this one goes to positive of that one, and so on. 
and the path comes through. This is cell number five, or module number five. I'm not calling these cells because in each of these modules there are four cells and there's actually two separate modules under here and in each of them is, sorry, four cells here, two cells in each of those. Uh, it's two series cells, I believe there's uh, three um, cells in each of them but they're wired uh, three in parallel and two in series, two in series, four in series and so on. Anyway, comes out of number 7, goes into number 8, 9, 10, 11. Comes out of number 11 and goes into number 12, 13. There's another one hidden under there, is number 14. And then number 15 is the bottom of those two. And then up to the top one is number 16. 17 is here, 18, and then from here it goes to 19. 19 to 20 is this one, and then 21 is here, number 21. As you can see this one's on its side, this one is flat. I presume it's just whatever way the Volkswagen managed to fit them into the car. Anyway, 21, 22, 23. Comes back over here then to number 24. And then over to 25, 26. Back to this one is 27. Uh, you can see it there, that one. And then from 27 to the very last one, which is the most negative, and that's module number 28. So that's the path that the uh, the current is flowing through this pack. Uh, each module is wired in series with all the other modules and the total voltage is accumulated until at the very end you get 325 volts at the optimal voltage. Uh, max would be 4.2 times 80 Eight, whatever that is, I can't remember. But um, so anyway, that's the that's the path that the the current takes. Hopefully, that's been of interest uh, and of some use to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Right, guys. So hopefully, you can see what's going on here. Um, what I'm trying to do is to figure out how many batteries I can uh, battery modules I can get into this. Uh, what used to be the fuel tank space. So I think I can manage six easily. Um, possibly eight with a push. Right. What I originally started doing was I've made these cardboard boxes which are pretty much exactly the same size as the modules. So. In theory you could put one there and one there and another one here, made three of them up. In theory you could put them across here. Um, I mean they would fit nicely, but the only thing that concerns me is that this rear diff uh, is actually mounted on move you know on um, rubber bushings and it will move slightly. So I'm concerned I'm too close to that. Uh, by the time I would get uh, a box going up over the top and down underneath, I would be very close to that. So I think that's too tight. So what I was going to do instead was if I turn them around that way. As you can see, they can go in end to end without too much difficulty. There's Plenty of space there for uh, for the case, for the box for to put these into. So there's plenty of space there. And if I put them like that, um, there's loads of space and clearance from this stiff. And then I could put another one in behind on its side and basically have two like that, uh, two sets, two batches like that, so it could be six. 
in theory, there should be, there could be space to put another one in like that. But I think that's probably getting a bit adventurous. It's getting a bit too tight. And also, it's too close to the, the rear of this diff. So I think we'll just stick with um, six like that. That should be easily doable. And that'll give me lots of space for uh, cables and so on. But don't forget we'll have to allow for cables inside this. Um, going from one module to the next and then feeding back out again. So I think we can do that. We can get six in here easily. And I'm hoping to get another couple in behind where the exhaust used to be. And there's a little cubby hole that could be taken away quite easily and uh, it's a cubby hole from in, inside the boot. I'll just take it down and show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> right. This this is the um, bottom of a cubby hole, which isn't really required. It's just a. Uh, as you can see, it could be easily taken away. So if that was taken away from there, um, the exhaust uh, rear back, the back box of the exhaust used to sit here. So if that was taken away, there'd be room for another, at least another four modules in there. So that would be a total of 10 at the back of the car. And uh, let me just show you. If there's 10 at the back of the car, I think it's something like 18 of these all together. As you see, I've got them on the bench at the minute. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's 13 or 14 of the big, the big uh, modules. So if we can get all of the big modules, or if we can get 10 of them at the back of the car, uh, 10 of them would be about 150 kilos, believe it or not, plus the weight of whatever box I have to make to, to hold them in. So 10 of them at the back, and the smaller ones could, I should be able to get quite a few of them in here somewhere. I haven't figured out where yet, but I'm sure that should be doable. Um, and then we'll, if need be, we can put a couple of them behind the um, the back seats in the car. Try to avoid that, but for now it looks like we can get at least 10 at the back. So I guess the next stage is to remove the cubby holders in there and see what we can get at the very back of the car, but fairly confident should be able to get 10 in there at the back of the car. Possibly even some of the small modules, I'm not sure about that, but um, we'll just try that and see how it goes. Um, so if we can get 10 of the big ones, a few of the small ones, um, that would put a nice chunk of the battery pack just where the old fuel tank used to be. So. Anyway, that's the, the plan for now. Hopefully that'll work out. Um, we'll, we'll try it and see how it goes. Anyway, we'll see you again so shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.